We have gathered together today to witness and celebrate God's work as he unites Henry Cowan and Lizzie Whitley in the covenant relationship of marriage. You have come today to give affirmation to their union in Christ. The marriage ceremony is an act of worship, recognizing the supernatural act of God as he causes two to become one. This is truly a holy occasion. Lizzie, your friendship is valuable more than riches, and that's evidenced by the number of young ladies that are standing up here. All of them, your best friends. Every Tuesday night, Lizzie, Henry, and I go to Alex City for family dinners, and I think the entire family agrees that Tuesdays are our favorite day of the week. We always leave their house with full bellies and full hearts. It's been such a joy to get to know each of your family members. One Tuesday night earlier this semester, I was chatting with Paul Paul, and he looked over at Lizzie and Henry, and he looked back at me and he said, you know, I've never seen a couple as close to one another as those two. And I've seen a lot of couples in my 87 years, but you see them every day. Are they always like this? I smiled and I said, yes, sir, they are. With tears in his eyes, he said, well, I think they make a pretty good match. And I couldn't agree more. Y'all really are a perfect match for each other. We say all the time that no one else could put up with the other one of you, but no one else could love the other better either. Henry, you already know Lizzie is incredibly special, and I know that I don't have to tell you that. And I can't tell you how thankful I am that I know I don't have to worry about her when she's with you. Lizzie has a hard time seeing her worth and recognizing truth, but I'm thankful that she always has you to point her to that along the way. It's truly crazy to see how the Lord weaved Henry and Lizzie's life together. You can't look at their history and not believe that the Lord did not ordain their meeting or truly carve each other out for one another. I know that he will do incredible things through your marriage, um, and I can't wait to be there to cheer you on for many years to come. Your marriage will always be a testament of the Lord's faithfulness in our lives, and I love you both and can't wait for many couple trips ahead. Lizzie, when I first met you, I had a feeling we'd all be here in this setting sometime later down the line. Um, Henry told me over the phone that he suddenly really liked sushi and wine, <laughs> which I've been trying for years to get him to like, um, or even just try. <laughs> Um, but I was like, what? And then he said, well, there's this girl. <laughs> Henry spoke super highly of you. And then meeting you, you were just as kind, genuine, and down to earth as Henry described. But what he didn't tell me is how smitten he was with you. I got to see that for myself. Um, Lizzie, I feel like you have no idea how cool you are, but that's the best part. Um, and I think you love like Henry loves. So this is a force to be reckoned with, the two of y'all. You see a lot in Henry that I've seen for a really long time, um, but I think you see it even more. I've never had a sister before, but I'm really excited about it. And may the Lord bless y'all and keep y'all and use y'all to bless others. Cheers to Henry and Lizzie. And now Henry, you have given Lizzie a priceless gift, and that's your heart. Your unconditional love for her has brought out a beauty that one does not see with the eye. Keep building into her life and your life will be the beneficiary. Your love will return to you 100-fold. Remember the relationship between the gift and the giver. God brought Eve to Adam so that Adam would know this was a gift given by God himself. This is the same God that created you, knows all your needs, and he will provide for you exactly what you need in a wife. And Henry, for you, Lizzie is God's provision for a wife. Any rejection of Lizzie is a rejection of God and his perfect provision. This love is like the ocean that's crashing over me. It's like falling rain on the driest plains as far as eyes can see. Lizzie, as I sit here on our wedding day, I can't help but think about the journey we've been on since we met three years ago. Since then, you've become my best friend, and now I get the honor and privilege of becoming your husband. I always get a smile on my face when I think about our time as friends and how we were in complete denial as everyone else watched us gravitate towards each other. 
the times when you would tell your mom or friends, I hope you find someone special. Well, honey, you are that someone special and you are the love of my life. I have never felt more known, cared for, or loved by anyone in my entire life. Thank you for always encouraging me when I doubt and giving me a hug when I need it. I have truly found a life partner in you and someone to walk alongside me for the rest of my life. You recently asked me when I knew I wanted to marry you. The truth is, it was about a week after we started dating on your birthday, March 29, 2021. I bookmarked the page in my journal for you to read right now. You knew ever since this thing began, I've been in a constant state of happiness and contentment. Not a day goes by where I haven't thought about Liz. She is unlike any girl I've ever met. And as I get to know her more, I'm blown away time and time again by her natural beauty and character. She has a way about her that lights up any room she walks in. People around her are better because of her and the joy she exudes. I find myself lucky to even know her, and the fact that she's my girlfriend is mind-blowing. I never would have thought that this sweet girl, who became one of my best friends, would be dating me today. And as I sit here writing this, I can't help but think I can see myself marrying her one day. Obviously it is fresh, we just started dating and have such a long process ahead. But I say that as a testament to her, that whoever she marries will be the luckiest man in the world because of who she is. And if that man is me, great. And if not, that's okay too. I'll still always be in her corner and her biggest fan. So God, I pray for her today on her birthday, that she find everything she is looking for in this life, that she will know you more each and every day, that she continue to grow and mature into the woman you created her to be, and that she will continually recognize the love you have for her. I thank you for bringing her into my life in whatever capacity or role I play in hers. I promise to protect her and to try and lead her closer to you. You see, Liz, it was always you. I have no doubt in my mind that God brought us together and has ordained our marriage. You're the light of my life. I promise to always stand by your side and support you through the good days and the bad. I promise to protect you, lead you, love you, and point you closer to God every day for the rest of our lives. I love you, Lizzie Whitley. Love your soon-to-be husband, Henry. Dear Henry, you are such a gift from God. You are the strongest yet most compassionate man I have ever met. Your boldness, gentleness, and patience make you an incredible leader, and I cannot wait to follow your lead in our marriage and family. Although I never voiced it or would admit it when we were friends, there was always a part of me that hoped and prayed it would be you. And here we are about to become one as husband and wife. It's actually mind-blowing to think back to all of the memories the Lord so graciously allowed us to make on our journey to this day. He has answered so many of my prayers through you, one so specific that it is undeniable you are the man I am meant to marry, and it is undeniable how faithful and in control he is. I have prayed for this marriage and for you long before I knew your name. The way our paths crossed that led us to meeting and how they crossed again multiple times after was so beautifully orchestrated by the Lord. It is the most comforting feeling to know we are exactly where He wants us to be. Thank you most of all for showing me the love of Jesus every day and for reminding me that I am a daughter of the one true King. You are my best friend and the love of my life. I choose you today and every day to come. Marrying you is my greatest joy. Henry, I love you forever. Love the future, Lizzie Cowan. Hey, you look so pretty. I love you so much. Oh, it's beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> I love you so much. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh, this Ooh. has been wonderful. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that didn't take long. <laughs>
<laughs> I love you. I love you too. Man, that's gorgeous. You like it? Oh, it's you. Yeah. It's simple. It's beautiful, though. Classy. Happy birthday. Thank you. Have you had a good day so far? Awesome. Just got better. <laughs> yeah. I love you, I love you too. You look so <laughs> You're a beautiful oh, girl. Thank you, Dad. So proud. Oh, we you make me proud. <laughs> I love you. I, Henry, take you, Lizzie. I, Lizzie, take you, Henry. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. With God as my witness. With God as my witness. I give you this promise. I give you my promise. Henry, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and the privilege of mine to be the first ever to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Henry Cowan. We're still